You can see me here using a new AI tool from our sponsor Wondershare in Filmora 14, which is the video editing app I've been experimenting with. It just transformed my full length review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra into a couple of vertical short form clips that I can share on TikTok, Instagram or as a YouTube short without having to record anything extra and without having to edit it from scratch. Let's watch an example for a couple of seconds. For example, if you want to use it as a remote control in the camera app or in PowerPoint, which are cool features. However, you never have to charge the pen for writing and drawing. It works surprisingly well, but the AI from Filmora cannot read my mind, so I want to change some things. And that is possible. It can jump me right into the timeline editor and I can adjust the subtitles that have been generated automatically and I can also edit the video clips. Like many of you, I'm watching the AI revolution very closely and am always in the lookout for improving my workflow. No matter what you think of ChatGPT and other tools, AI is here to stay for sure. And if you embrace AI, you will have a major advantage over others. That's why I've agreed to check out Filmora 14, which is a video editor for Windows. You can buy it as a one-time license or as a yearly subscription, which gives you a lot of effects and especially these AI tools. It not only works with Windows, but also on pretty much all other platforms, including Mac, iPhone and Android. Editing video with AI requires a ton of computing power on the server side of Wondershare, so it has to be a subscription. It's still very affordable though, the yearly fee of $59.99 that gives you all these features is the monthly fee that I pay with the biggest competitor in the video editing space. So Filmora 14 is over 10 times cheaper actually. Nowadays a lot of us are producing videos either for YouTube, Instagram or TikTok and Filmora is video editing software not only for Windows and PCs, but like I said, but also for all other devices like tablets and phones. In this video, I will give you a quick overview of this app and we will explore the AI features in particular. When you open Filmora for the first time, it looks like a standard video editor. And in fact, you can use it as a standard video editor, of course. I used it to cut my A roll and then overlay my B roll. It's very easy and very intuitive. And if you want, you can add lots of interesting effects like different transitions or you can change the color of your footage, like change it into black and white or have it look like it's shot on a VHS tape. You can tell interesting stories with these. It also supports multicam editing by the way, which is super useful. When I record unboxing videos, I often have two cameras running at the same time and with the multicam editing feature, I can easily switch between cameras similar to how you're imagining it on a live TV set. But like I said, the major advantage of Filmora are the AI tools. Let's say you don't have much experience editing videos and you have some dark footage to work with. Well, you can just open the Filmora Copilot and tell it in simple English what to do, like to brighten the selected video clip or to darken it or to turn it into black and white. And then the Copilot does it for you. You don't even have to know how it's done. Some things you still have to do yourself. But then you can just ask the co-pilot how to do something and it gives you a simple step-by-step -step tutorial. You can also use text-based editing. With that, the AI is transcribing what you're saying and you can then edit that text like you would edit a Word document. If you delete a word, that part of the video is deleted from the clip. So yes, you edit video by editing text and that works very well and is pretty amazing. I also tried the AI portrait cutout tool, which lets you cut out a subject from the background. We are not talking about a simple image here. It's doing it on a huge three gigabyte video file and does quite a good job at it. It's not perfect and needs some adjustment, but if you ever cut out something in Photoshop, you know that it would take days to do it manually on a video. When I talk about benchmarks in my tablet reviews, it's quite boring to just show the graph. In the future, I could show myself cut out in the corner, which should improve overall watch time and make the channel more successful. As you know, I have a quite strong German accent. I wish it would sound just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, for many, it will be helpful to have subtitles. Again, a lot of work if you have to transcribe it manually. But in Filmora 14, you can let AI do that. And it does an amazing job at it. 
it didn't have any problem with my strong German accent and is even showing the price of the tablets I'm talking about properly with the dollar sign in front of the number. Very nice. I can edit the text further of course or just change the way it's being shown like the style of the subtitles and I could add animations but I think that's too much for a long form video I'm editing here. That is speech to text but actually you can also convert text to speech. So I can have Firmora's AI say exactly what I'm saying in this video but with an American accent. In a male voice of course. Again I'm working with huge files here but it actually works surprisingly well. Let's listen to me talk as an American. And it even supports 120 hertz. You can write on the display with the S pen which works the same way as on other S pen tablets. Except that the stylus here is also very rugged built. It's also nice that you can replace the battery yourself. I think that's amazing. Sure, not perfect, but surprisingly good and really usable. It can be an amazing way to localize videos into other languages. So I could have my next tablet in Spanish or in Italian and the additional work I would have to do is minor. It's all done by AI. Another cool feature is motion tracking. You can have objects in your video tracked so that you can then attach elements to those objects. That's quite advanced. You can see me here adding iPad mini 7 to an outside shot of the iPad mini 7 that I recorded for my review. Again, it works well and attaches the text to the iPad. Well, that's Filmora 14. If you're producing any kind of video and want AI to help you, make sure to check it out. As you've seen, many things work surprisingly well and especially tools like text-based editing are amazing. Some others are not perfect yet and require some editing by yourself, but certainly make producing videos much, much faster. Thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. You will find links to Filmora 14 and discount codes in the description below. And if you're publishing videos, tell us about it in the comments. I'm curious who is watching and what you're making.